Hello, this is Jennifer Bailey and in this lecture I'm going to show you how to update your themes, plugins and WordPress. So when you first log in to your new website, you'll be informed whether there are any updates that need to be performed. Now if you have in done this installation but haven't used the site for a while, you may be required to update the WordPress because there's many newer versions that are constantly being created. As it turns out, there isn't in this case, but we are informed by looking at this little symbol here that there is one update that needs performing. And if you click on the dashboard and look at the updates option, you can see there is also one. It's indicated by the one in this black circle. Also next to the plugins, there's a black circle with a number in, which is informing us that one of the plugins needs updating. So what you need to do is you go to updates and then here you can check on the things that might need updating. So as we can see, we have the latest version of WordPress. We don't have to do anything about that. We can see that our themes are up to date, but we do have one plugin that needs updating. So what we can do now is we can either put a check in the box select all or we can just select the one plugin or more than one plugin which we wish to update. Then all you do is click update plugins. Now it works in exactly the same way if you want to update a theme. You literally just select the theme you want to update and click update themes. As simple as that. So it's now formed us that has now been updated. Now usually if I am going to update my WordPress and it's a site with content in, I'd like to perform a backup first. Now if you want to go and watch my lecture on creating backups, that will show you how to do that from within your cPanel of your web host. And I would definitely advise you do that before you do any WordPress updates. Now at the moment there aren't any WordPress websites on this website, but if we go back into my HostGator cPanel, you'll see that there are some updates that need to be performed on some of my other sites. So I've come back to my HostGator control panel and I scroll down till I get to the services and software section and click on Fantastico Deluxe. And as this opens, you'll see all of my sites which have WordPress installed and it will tell me whether any of them need upgrading and what version they're on now. So as you can see some of these sites here are using older versions and it's indicating to me that these all need upgrading. Now when I made the video for the backup I did that before I got to this point because I knew that I was going to have to show you how to do the upgrades. So if you're at the point we've got content, go and do the backup and come back to here. You can upgrade your WordPress from within your site. So if you want to do it from within there, you can do that. Or if you've got a lot of them like I have, you can choose to do them all in one place in Fantastico. You may find though, which I, when I was playing around with Fantastico in Quick Install, you'll only see the sites that you've created in each location. So for example, within Fantastico, I will see the sites I created within Fantastico. And within the Quick Install, I'll see the sites that I created using Quick Install. So you may have sites in two different places depending on how you installed them. So all you need to do now is literally go down the list and click to upgrade each of the sites that needs upgrading. You may notice here there's a disclaimer warning you that the upgrading of WordPress can affect any themes and plugins that you may have installed because the theme or plugin may not have been updated for the latest version of WordPress. So it's something you need to consider when you're doing your upgrades. And even though it does inform you that your current installation will be backed up, it does recommend you make your own backup of your database.
before you carry on with the upgrade. So once you're happy with that, you just click upgrade. So the upgrade is basically complete. It does suggest that you make a note of the information from the backup. So anyway, all I would need to do now is go back and back up the rest of my sites in the same way as I've just done that one. So all I would do is click back on WordPress to bring my list back up and then I can start on the next one. So as you can see, the top one has now been updated and I can work my way down the list. At the end of this tutorial, you should now be able to perform updates of WordPress, plugins and themes in order to ensure that your WordPress website is kept up to date. I'm Jennifer Bailey. Thank you for watching.